Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a filter pocket face mask. So this is the style that has um, pleats on the front and the back. And then on the, on the back, there are two layers that overlap. So you can slip a filter in there. And a lot of hospitals are wanting this type and they'll, they'll put their own filter in so you don't have to worry about that. And this is made with ties that are just made out of fabric. And that way they can wash them at really hot temperatures. Um, elastic won't withstand that, so that's why I'm using ties for this. And these are not bias tape, they're just binding, and I'll show you how to make that. So, um, on my blog, you can print out the pattern pieces if you would like, and these print out um, on regular standard paper, and then you, you trim, them, trim them and tape them together. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you just line up, you can trim with scissors or use a paper trimmer. Um, and you just trim up the dotted lines. And you only need to do that, you only need to trim the sides for this, just one side. Now I printed on cardstock because it'll make a sturdier template. Um, but if you are just wanting to use a rotary cutter, you can do that too. You can use the measurements that are provided in, um, on, the, on the blog in, this, in the post, okay. So if you are wanting templates, you tape it together along the lines and then cut out the pattern pieces. And so that's how you do it. There are four pages and three pattern pieces, the ties, front and back. So I've already cut my pieces um, and if you are more of a visual learner, you can also print the, the printable instructions and just read from here. And this is a PDF file, so if you need to share it with uh, an organization or a friend, you can also do that. Okay, so you will cut out one front piece, this is 9 by 7, and two back pieces that are 9 by 8. And then you'll cut out two tie pieces, and I just, what I did is cut um, along this, this, this is just like yardage of fabric and just cut two inch strips. So these are 44 inches by two inches. And that's a really fast and easy way to cut them just with a rotary cutter. So to get started, um, we will iron, press the front and the back pieces in half lengthwise. So you fold them like that. Press, I like to use a lot of steam for this project makes it fast and a little crisper. And just a side note, you'll want to pre-wash your fabric so that it doesn't shrink later. And the better quality fabrics are going to be um, a tighter weave, which will offer more protection from germs. Okay, so after you've pressed, we're going to pin the top and bottom pieces of the back to the top and bottom of the front piece. So. The back pieces are folded in half and I'm putting the open edge at the bottom and the top and they're gonna overlap about one inch to create the filter pocket for us. Um, so you can see how the folded edges are overlapped and then you'll just wanna pin the sides a little bit. I like to pin at the overlap and then at the corners. And we are gonna sew just the sides straight down, um, securing that overlap pocket and and then the side so so just so from the here to here here to here and we're gonna leave the top and the bottom open for now so I've sewn the sides with a one quarter inch seam allowance and then you want to take the pins out and turn it right side out through that opening now these just flip really easily and then we'll press it focusing on the seams on the sides. So use lots of steam again, press it really well, and on the other side. Okay, so I pressed that and this is ready. So now I'm going to make the binding. So the binding is made from two inch strips of Fabric. Now this is not bias tape. Bias tape is cut on the bias grain, which is a diagonal grain, and that takes forever to cut, which is great 
for curved projects, but since this is straight edges, we don't need bias tape, we'll just use binding. So what you do is take your two inch strip and fold in half an inch on either of the long sides and press it. So we're pressing it and we're gonna make a double fold binding. And then, so you do that for your whole strip and then fold it in half again and press press really well, use a lot of steam on this. And that will make your binding where you can slip in the, we're gonna slip it in like this. So I have some pre-made binding here I have made. <clears throat> so what you'll do is find the middle of your binding piece and then open it up and match it to the middle of the mask. And then just put it in there and line up the edge with the middle of the binding and then fold it over. So we're just sandwiching the, the filter mask into the binding. And so I like to do about three pins on this and then sew it on. So we're gonna top stitch it. And then at the end, so we're gonna top stitch close to the edge. You wanna make sure you catch the binding on the back as well, so don't stitch too close. And then when we get to the edge, we're gonna turn this in about three quarter inch or so. And this is a really just quick and dirty way to get the binding edge nice. Um, you can also knot it, but I think this will, will, will withstand the washing process a little better. And then we'll just sew from here all the way down. I usually like to start about right here, sew all the way to the end, and then go back and start and sew the, the other side. So we'll do that for the top and the bottom. Again, find the middle, and then we'll line it up and pin. All right, so the binding has been sewn onto the mask at the top and the bottom, and the ends are secure. So now we're gonna make the pleats. Um, so you can use an iron if you want, or you can just freehand these. But we're gonna make three pleats on each side. So I like to just start on one side and they're all gonna be facing the same direction. So we'll start here, pin the pleat. And we're pinning both layers at the same time. So it gets a little bit thick, especially where the overlap is on the back of the mask but just pleat it here and this will allow the mask to fit over the nose and mouth, but stay secure on the sides. Um, so you wanna pin them about, so there's about three inches over here. And then you can kind of use your iron to, to help you match the pleats from the other side. Um, or just freehand them. They don't have to be perfect for this mask to work how it needs to work. So we'll pin the other side, match these up. And then we're just gonna sew two lines of stitching to secure them. And I like to do two lines of stitching just because I want the mask to hold up really well. Um, so we're gonna go over, so I like to sew down the pleats. We're gonna sew down and then I'm gonna turn my machine pivot back up and back stitch up both ends. And then you want to make sure the back is kind of flat so you're not um, messing with your pleats. Okay, so I've sewn the pleats with two rows of stitching and then your mask is finished. So you can see how it pops up and then on the back you can open the back to put in your filter. And this is just a really good sturdy mask for hospitals. This is the kind they want. There, a lot of them are wanting. So, hopefully that tutorial will help you. And go ahead and you can find the downloads um, on my blog post to print these patterns.